Hey yo, what up guys? It is your lad DJ Wacky and I'm back with another FIFA 20 Team of the Week player review. And you know what guys, a bit late to the party on this fella, 86 rated, Annabelle Decore. To be fair, a couple of YouTubers have covered him, but no one's actually used him as a CDM. They're all using him as a centre mid or a cam, which I don't understand why they're going for that. I think Decore makes a fantastic CDM. Honestly, in FIFA 19, his 86 AB, his SPC version was phenomenal and I have enjoyed using his 84 version have them from the start of FIFA and to be fair right 86 just seems to be a lot more pepped up pace has stepped up a bit but obviously 75 pace is not too great 81 shot yeah it's not the best but that shot power at 91 definitely stands out that is screaming to hit it from long distances Passing 78, reliable as well. Dribbling's been pepped up nicely to 82 overall. But the defence at 85 plus the physicality at 86 with 96 stamina. That is why I reckon this fella should be a CDM position all right. But you know what guys, we'll get around to the game footage that I got over here yesterday when I was recording once again on Twitch. And to be fair, right, Decor really cemented himself instantly. He literally anchored in that midfield area. He was a very very supportive player he, he kind of always preferred to stay back in his first game in his open debut there was just a lot of passes i can do nice little flare passes like that and using my feet work just to see how fast he reacts on them uh, instant passes to be fair he was quite spot on but i had to kind of force to drag him forward there was not really much attack in him in the first game but to, uh, like i mentioned I'm not complaining about that. At the end of the day, I've covered him to be a defensive player and he did pay off doing that. There was a lot of opportunities where the ball could have been taken off for him but because of his fast reaction, I was able to work around it. And check this out, guys. 90th minute, my opponent had the attack on. It was looking like he was going to go in. Takori marks himself in net and defends it. Honestly, saved my ass over there. What can I say? Brilliant first game. Ended up as a 2-2 draw. And I think the midfield position, he really did secure that 100% off the way in the second game is a bit of a different story there was a lot more attack forward going over there you can see it led up to a support and assist over there in the first instant goal again the corner would seem to be keep on uh, trekking forward there's a lot more opportunities where i'm using the short passes rather than long pass uh, he has a shot but of course the keeper does save it but that long power shots is coming into great play i think it's one of them things the corner doesn't have a great finesse on him he doesn't have that really 100 percent accuracy on him but the power Power on that shot definitely stands out. And the final game footage, I've actually managed to abuse it a bit. Again, he gets himself into a beautiful positioning. Cheap goal, I would say. Well, obviously, it's a very cheap goal, but Decore nonetheless cemented that in. What I would say is that he, the fact that he does creep up in that attack position seems to be some of the things that is coming a bit more forward in the later half of the games. But he, he seems to have like a Marmite moment. Like, sometimes he will always be in the defensive area and never coming forward. Other times, he's actually just keeps on pushing himself up front. I don't know what changes in the gameplay, uh, but he seems to like literally chooses as he desires. Either way though guys he supports the team all around whether you keep having him on defense whether he's coming in for that tag there's times where you see him crop in and his name's recognizable once you do actually spot him like i said 84 decoria is a fantastic player i highly rate him and this is why people i would definitely recommend worth investing into decoria if you're looking to get a great center mid for your bpl team what's my godfather level well it deserves to be an eight out of ten stars now I'm going to point out the con because I really didn't mention that in the actual review just now. But in terms of when I say he's good but not great, in my eyes, the great CDMs or the great centre mids you can look in a BPL team, it has to go to either Angola Kante or Paul Pogba. Them two are just powerhouses. And Decore is... He's value for money, he's worth his price, but you know what? You're just getting a decent play. You're not going to get someone that's going to literally be a man of the match moment. I don't think that Decor is ready to do that for your team. But all round, for the coin value, for how he performs, like he's definitely worth copying. And if you need a spare sub, or if you just need a spare new C CDM and you've got a bit of cash to spare, why not look for him? He's worth the option, like I mentioned. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought of this review. Share your thoughts below if you're looking to cop Decore. It, do you, does he remind you of FIFA 19 SPC Decore at 86? Like I said, share your thoughts. See what the community thinks. Like the video if you got some time, people, because it helps a small-time YouTuber like myself. And hell, if you are new to the channel, why not hit that subscribe button? It's been your guy, DJ Wacky, people. And I'll see you all next time. Peace up.
uh, group A, we got Clubberg, uh, Berg, Berg, Berg. 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 Yeah. Berg. I, I don't know. It's a freaking Belgian. They've club. lost anyway. 